From headlines on vaccines to now a mutated virus leading to a lockdown, are we staring at pandemic 2.0? not fear-mongering, just stating the facts. Look at the trends and numbers. What we face right now is an advanced and scarier version of the Wuhan virus. And what we're entering is a new phase of the pandemic. Let's begin with the numbers. As of 21st of December, the total number of Wuhan virus cases the world over is well above 77 million. The deaths, more than 1.7 million. Two countries have recorded more than 10 million cases, the United States and India. But the country making the headlines now is the United Kingdom. What's happening there? The mutation of the Wuhan virus. A new version has emerged that spreads faster. As we said, mutations are normal. All viruses mutate all the time. The Wuhan virus has also been mutating all over the world. There are at least 4,000 variants of the Wuhan virus. Experts say the mutation began in China. New strains of the virus have been seen across the world. The strain found in Britain is called the 6970 deletion, meaning this variant has missing letters in the genetic code. The strain was picked up in Danish minks too. It was also found in Thailand and Germany and then in England. So what does this mutation mean for you and me? Question number one, is the mutated virus scarier? Yes and no. Data so far does not raise the mortality rate or the risk of severe illness, but, yes, there is a but, the mutated virus found in the UK spreads faster. The new variant not only moves fast, it is increased in terms of its ability to transmit, but it is becoming the dominant variant. It is beating all the others in terms of transmission. So this virus transmits and spreads fast. So the worry here is about rising infections because it transmits fast. And given that it's the holiday season, many people boarded flights before the travel bans were put in place. The mutated virus may have already traveled to other parts of the globe. It has already been found in Denmark, Australia and the Netherlands. More infections may lead to more hospitalization, and that's something that no country, rich or poor, can afford right now after months of pandemic. Question number two, will the vaccines be able to protect us from the mutated virus? The answer is yes, thankfully. The vaccines will still work. Experts say the Wuhan virus vaccine will be able to produce a whole range of antibodies. Let me tell you how one expert described it. He compared these antibodies to a thousand big guns pointed at a virus. So it is unlikely that a mutated virus will be able to escape the fire. A vaccine should still be effective. And speaking of vaccines, what about India? India is expected to start its vaccination drive next month. The government has already prioritized 30 crore people. This includes health workers, frontline workers, people above 50 years of age, and those who are below 50 but have certain diseases. India is considering the emergency authorization of the Pfizer vaccine, the Oxford AstraZeneca shot, and the Bharat Biotech candidate. As of now, vaccination has begun in the UK, the US, Canada, Russia, and China. Other countries have given regulatory approvals and they're waiting for their first batch of shots. This list includes Switzerland, Malaysia, Bahrain, Mexico, and the United Arab Emirates. So this is where things stand at the moment. As we wind down this year, the biggest challenge until last month was to find a vaccine. That has been overcome and we must say it's a huge achievement to find a vaccine so fast. But the pandemic is not over. Producing, transporting, storing, administering this vaccine is going to be a Herculean task. And now we have mutant versions spreading. With faster infections, there is fear, a fresh lockdown, a travel ban. This, as I said, is a deja vu moment. The challenge before us is to not let history repeat itself this time. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Vion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Vion, world is one.